All right, ladies and gents, welcome to the next episode of Lectures with Liddington. Today we're going to talk about what happens when we take those elements and those compounds that we talked about before and we mix them together. So a mixture is when we take two or more of those elements or compounds and combine them. So two or more elements or compounds combined together. And the key here is that these are combined physically, not chemically. So when we talk about a chemical compound, those atoms are actually sharing electrons. There's a bonding between them, whereas in a mixture, they're just occupying the same space. So if we're looking at our little diagram over here, we've got each of these represents a molecule. Um, so there's all those different molecules in the same space. They're not, they're combined together, but they're not chemically combined. They're just physically um, operating, or not operating, but physically uh, occupying the same space. There are two different types of mixtures. This would be a suspension, heterogeneous, meaning different, right? We can see different sections, or homogeneous or homogeneous, depending on how you enunciate. And in that case, that would be considered a solution. So let's talk a little bit more about that. Um, solutions. All right, so solutions, these are when your mixture is evenly distributed. So I have uh, molecules or compounds throughout the entire solution spread out. I've got bits and pieces here and there and here and there evenly throughout. If you pick up a solution and look at it, you can't tell that they are mixed together. Think about the ocean, right? If you go to the ocean and you get a, a pail of water um, and you look at that, sometimes there might be some chunks in there, some seaweed or a little sand, um, but if you just get a scoop, maybe a cup full of water, um, you can't necessarily tell that there's anything in there. It's salt water, so there is salt dissolved in that water, um, but you can't necessarily tell. And when we talk about solutions, there are two different components. There's the solute and the solvent. The solute, this is the one that's dissolved. And when we say dissolved, we mean those molecules are being pulled apart from each other. And then the solvent, this is the one that's doing the dissolving. So if we use our salt water, for example, um, the salt would be the solute and the water would be the solvent. And now it's pretty important to mention that, to bring that up, because water is what we call the universal solvent. Water, universal solvent. What that means is it dissolves so many things. It dissolves a lot of stuff. If we look at this beaker here, this is when we first put in our sample NaCl, that's table salt. When we first put our salt in, it's together. And then slowly over time, notice here are our little water molecules. Do, 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 do. And these little water molecules will pull apart those pieces of sodium and chlorine to pull them apart and dissolve them into a solution. The other type of mixture is a suspension, and this is when you can actually see the stuff. So a suspension would be water and an undissolved solvent. Oh my goodness, an undissolved solute material. Let's call it a material. 
Um, this is water in an undissolved material. So if I look at it, I can see it. I can see a differentiation between the stuff. Um, now, if you are looking at, say, blood, right? So here is a sample of your blood. Um, that would be an example of a suspension. So you have the liquid portion of the blood, and then you have red blood cells and white blood cells that are moving and grooving within it. They're not dissolved. They're not chemically pulled apart. That would be a problem. But they are within that liquid. Same thing with uh, when you make lemonade, homemade lemonade. Um, you might have pulp, right? There's little bits of pulp, and you can see the chunks and the pieces, right? That would be considered a suspension, an in suspension. So let's see if we can practice a couple of examples of identifying suspensions versus solutions. <laughs>